Welcome to PUBG Mobile. Hey guys, and as she just now told, welcome back to PUBG Mobile. So, I thought of doing some solo versus duos in this match, and also this match can be used to give you some tips and tricks, you know, like on how to increase, how to better your playstyle, or like how to counter certain enemies, as you will see uh, in the video ahead. So, I uh, I would also like to say that I recently switched to a four fingers claw grip. We will be so taking off soon. Be prepared. I'm somewhat new to this. Not really, kind of, little, not that much. So that is why my shoot button and my crouch and aim down sides will be like way to the top side of the screen on each either sides. So. Something funny happens in all chats here. Be kutte. Okay, no, this is not. It. it was another game I played. Okay, now from here on, you might not hear the game audio for a bit. Really sorry about it. it's iOS recording software that's a bit janky. So, we'll be coming down in Boot Paradise, obviously, first thing while dropping. Aim your movement pad to 10 o'clock or something, or 2 o'clock respectively, and move sideways and look straight down. And you have to jump 750 meters from the place you want to land. So here, they were lagging all over the place, so I could not use the Thompson, so I just tried sh uh, shotgunning them. A bit of a tip here when you're going solo versus duos or solo versus squads or you're the last one alive. When you knock out an enemy you might as well just straight up kill them if you get the opportunity. Obviously if you're safe enough. Obviously if there is teammates right over there don't go for the kill, go for the teammate knock or die straight kill if you're playing duos. Cause if they kill you, you don't get knocked out, so they can't touch you. So one thing to note is... This is PUBG Mobile guys, so... What you can do is... You can like, say you see an enemy, right? Like down the stairs. You can try to jump across them or like try to keep moving. Don't stand still. So, what that happens is PUBG Mobile, there's almost every player is very shit at tracking unless you come against a uh, decently skilled player. Otherwise, most of it is like really bad, you know, like uh, people are not really good at racing shots. And also, there's only really so far you can swipe on the screen, and many people don't even know to do that. So, trying to jump across them or running close by so like they have to aim a lot more just make sure not to just do that at any time you have to think about what you're doing when you're gonna do another tip in for TPP when you're playing TPP is to use the third person perspective a lot to your advantage as you will see soon I guess yeah you see I'm using the TPP the enemy can't see me but I could see the enemy so here I don't look around which is really dumb of me, I go and stand right near the door, I don't even close it. That was bad game on my part but do keep eyes on doors and windows and stuff when you're looting and you don't want to stand still for too long. So using TPP view is really really this, as you can see I can see the entirety of this floor without the enemy being able to see me. Also. The other thing I would tell, uh, suggest doing is when you're using TPP view and you see an enemy running towards you, adjust the pre-adjust the crosshair to the head level so that when you move to the side, it's you can easily like aim for the head. And if you're aiming little down or like to the legs, here you'll see another TPP view. This, as you can see, I already aimed it chest and above. It was not aiming down at its legs and then after when I moved out of cover 
I aimed it up. Pre aim it to the level, and then so when you move across, you can easily shoot. Also, don't try to run in the red zone too much. The red zone actually. Okay, here I just feel bad for this player. This guy, this just this guy just glitched back out. He went fully in. It was not. He didn't do anything bad. He would have been safe, but he just glitched outwards for some reason. I don't understand why. So I'm rocking the shotgun KBU combo again. TPP view. Now I see someone over here, r here running, and also main building, right? So I see someone running in the main building. I try to see if I can see this person. I'm not engaging any of them. I'm trying to see. Okay, now that guy ran away. I knew it would be risky for me to just run across all the way towards that side. So I think, and I say I'm gonna push towards the main building guy. So again, I hear him on the second floor. TPP view. TPP view. So he comes running down. That was just bad aim. I should have killed him with half the bullets I used there, but you get the point. Like, and always like when you see when you're about to see like when you're crossing like walls or like you're going around the corner and you know there's an enemy there, pre-fire. Just as you're about to see the enemy, pre-fire before, slightly, just slightly before you see the enemy. So let. You know, you get the jump on the enemy. Because you don't want to wait till you see the enemy, then aim. Just keep aiming and pre-firing. Unless he's not, like, anywhere near. Then you want to aim down sights and then pre-shout. Shoot at him. You don't want to shout. You want to shoot at him. So over here, I s jump and I see that he I pop his head out. It's obviously a bot. But, like, you know... So, I don't understand why, but like, you wanna avoid that, even though like half the reticle was still free, it still all got blocked by the door. Also, uh, if you just saw over there, I used the quick scope option, that's up to you, like whether you want to use it. You don't really need it, you can still open your bag and switch scopes equally fast. So I heard firing on top of the hill. Now, whenever you hear firing in a certain direction, you have to make a mental note on it. Like, okay, wait, I heard shots, there is players over there. Whether it's bot or what, you have bots or anyone, you have to make a mental note that there is someone or something in that direction. So as you will see here, uh, in a little bit also this is an awesome situation to show you like a good tip so I spot them right about like now or something yep now I spot them that was a car 90 now I keep that in mind I make a mental note he has a car 90 so pick one side pick the other side that was the longest split and I would have expected uh, but I didn't hit anything so pick left pick right pick left pick right so this was bad on my part because if you see the zones closing in and I had not paid attention to the zone. The zone's pretty far away from me but I had not paid attention and I will start moving now. But now if you see I'm not moving straight up the hill to go and kill them because I know that they will revive each other, move towards the top of the hill and then come down because they have to move towards the zone anyway. Here I try to see if I can get an angle on them from the trees. But then I just straight up run to these houses here. Obviously red zone, so... Red zone is pretty scary after a certain update that came in the game. I actually started getting scared. So now I'm zigzag running to... In case the people from top of the hill spot me. So... I tried to get an angle on them. But if I crouched over there, I would have probably got seen the top of the hill. But so now, if you see, I've actually gone in a curve and I've come in front of them instead of going straight towards them. So now I am in their way towards the zone. I am blocking their way towards the zone. So 
you have to think your moves ahead of time just straight up blindly rushing is not always good so now once in a while you have to look it towards the back obviously i have to move towards the zone because i not paid good attention to that so the zone's pretty far i see him here i try to full spray him but he was just lagging and lagging all over the place now i know there's two of them so i start searching for the second player where he is so i see him over the houses but i'm like okay i'm just gonna because he was behind the houses so i was like yeah i'm just gonna move a little and then i'm gonna look back up here then after that i see them full spread one guy down other guy comes up hit five now i now mental note the guy had a car 98 so that's not just to um dodge his shots or anything that's also to see which weapon he has and whether i want it or not so i risk taking zone damage and all that stuff because i knew that car 98 would come pretty handy towards the end of the game so again guys don't do what i did here stupid and try to fight outside the zone try to move towards the zone as much as you can intercept the people as they're running towards the zone you wanna get okay another tip i would give is try to catch people off guard you know like if someone's close to you try not to move like as much as you can if you're in a good position if you're not in a good position then don't move the, um, if you're not in a good position then only move so now the problem with Sanok play the map Sanok is a lot of the guys almost every opponent enemy is prone in the grass as you will see here i spot an enemy pretty soon or something yep right about now i have shots in that direction but then i look towards the side and don't ask me how i spot him i don't know i've got the eyes of an eagle or something so thing to keep in mind when I always run across towards the edge of the zone in Senok. that's the best way i found and always keep look out for proners don't ever forget that keep looking down you want to look more towards the down side because the only way you can spot a prone person through the grass <laughs> grass is by looking down on him not straight at him so here i see the bike i, I shoot at the bike think it's a person then i realize it's the i see the guy towards the edge over there so you want to keep looking down so if you can get on a rock if you are a good player and you have good aim and like good reaction times when people start shooting you you can get on a rock like this one and like you can but don't stand still just keep moving around to see have a good look so here i'm running running see I, look how i'm running across the zone because prone people they don't they'll just go and prone in the middle of nowhere if they have to as long as they're in the zone they don't care if they have cover they don't care if they have this so just keep an eye out for proners at all times uh, even in irangal not just this you wanna keep checking these types of smaller houses and sheds check near rocks check in near the open area for people especially across near these mountains here people just like proning in like this type areas So over here a literally funny thing happens just look closely right near the rock just look closely uh, almost I almost see it see that see over here see this rock over here I mean <laughs> I literally walked over that guy and now this is what it is Another tip I would like to give is strafing. If you saw, saw what I did there, I moved to the right, shot, move left, back into cover. Move right again instantly, shot, move back into the cover. So, you wanna do this like, you know, changing intervals and stuff. Like, you know, like move, shoot, if you're low on, and move back. Move again, shoot, and if you move back, low on health, heal up, and do it the same.
Or if you have low health and you're good with your aim, then you can do that this. So here I see the other guy. Don't know how that's not. I get a headshot on him. I missed the body shot, so I just go for the view finish. And voila. That's the end of the gameplay. Hope you learned something at least. I know I didn't. This is not a detailed guide and tips on tricks. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. Click the bell icon. Bye. Hey guys, this is Awesome Batman from the future. Well, I'm editing this video. I would like to just like to add to this video that I'll be recently starting a new series where I speak about tech news, science news, interesting facts. Throw in some memes once in a while, fun memes, like you know, just some like general based knowledge. If you have anything exciting that you would like me to share in one of those videos related to tech, science, anything like you know interesting, then leave a comment down below about it. Bye.